You're so gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Wow. You're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so honored to meet you. Same. Um, and congratulations on this Thank like you. amazing, amazing feat. So I look up at the stars to guide me. I wish. And throw caution to every warning sign. Um, is it your first Disney movie? This is my first, uh, my first full Disney movie. I I got to uh, I got to do a sort of pop reimagination for Ralph Breaks the Internet. Okay. Uh, so that was yeah. sort of okay, my that was, my yeah. introduction to to the Disney family. But this is my first real deep dive into Disney. I mean, the music in this is spectacular. I saw the movie yesterday, and yeah. by the time it was done, everybody beside me was bawling. I had like a delayed oh. reaction, so I was on the tube, just like oh. crying. And I'm like, "Okay, oh my, what's happening?" <laughs> and you know, um, this oh. wish um, is like one of my favorites, and then also the one um, star, the star one. I'm a star. I'm a star. Yeah, yeah I really love those. And thank you. The music is both uplifting and emotionally resonant. So, how do you work with the directors and the animators to ensure that that you know, came out in the characters. We did so many uh, discussions about uh, these characters. We would literally for two years, we would go and have these meetings every single Thursday. And we would talk about um, really like the essence of the characters and what, what they embodied. And, yeah. and then Ben Rice, who I did the songs with, uh, and I would go back to the studio and be like, okay, like how do we do this lyrically and sonically? And, and then just, just go like, from there. I see, see what happened with that. I hadn't seen the movie before I started working on the music. You know, no. had a storyboard. No, because they didn't even have, like, have a beat, film beat. yet, you know? So actually, the, the first song I wrote for this film was This Wish. And really? and I wrote that based off of a off of a paragraph that they had sent me about the film. They It's like genius level. <laughs> like, you just like, oh yeah, paragraph, <laughs> no. got it. It's They're like, hit. here's a brief. OK, write a song. Just, like, turn out <laughs> hits like, all oh, the time. <laughs> Uh, and and so basically, for for different songs, it would be different. So we would um, sometimes we would just have like two pages of of a script, and so we would have to sort of write the song based off these few pages of the script. Sometimes we would have a picture of of like the storyboard image for something. The the only time we we had like a an actual storyboarded sort of video was for Welcome to Rosas. Okay, that's like the first time when she's like, yes, to everyone yes, ever. yeah. See, I always love when everyone gets involved in the scene and they're all singing different parts. Hi, but your voice is <laughs> How do you write that? Uh, you know, it's, it's actually really interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for, for I'm a star specifically, we, we knew that it had to be scientific and funny and emotional i mean th this whole song is about connection yes and being connected to people yeah and um and, and realizing the light in everyone and yeah and like yeah. we're all part of the same we're all cut from the same cloth you know yeah. and um <laughs> we, we didn't realize how many people we were gonna need for this film and it ended up being such a funny conversation because as we were figuring out like what animals were gonna be in the this song? That was my favorite part, by the way. When yeah. like the animals, the bears, the goats. Well, yeah. I mean, and um, the mushrooms. We had to. Everyone. Oh my! It was so funny. We'd be like, we'd be like, oh, maybe he could be turtle, or this guy can be porcupine, or she can be the raccoon. I love that. And and I, I, up... I, I love that. I, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, no, no, but there's fine. so many punchlines in yeah. that too. That I'm like, are you like a stand-up comic? But yeah. like. <laughs> If this doesn't work out, I think she definitely go into comedy <laughs> for sure because that was fantastic. Thank you so much. And I also like how the the music became, you know, the fun songs also kind of became like a warrior cry. Yeah. For like, uh, you know, towards, you know. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But towards like the end of the movie where like it gets to a point where, you know, you have Correct. to remind yourself of that. Yeah. They're all connected. It's, you and, realize towards the end of the film that a lot of these songs really yeah, are weaved together. Yeah. 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 And would you say that, you know, any of this was inspired by your life? Or did you put some of yourself For in it? For sure. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I think specifically too with like the Magnifico 
song. I've I've definitely known quite a few Narcissus. characters yep. in my life. Yeah. You are their handsomest, most beloved king. You're right. I am a handsome king. <laughs> definitely <laughs> dated a few of them. Girl. <laughs> and 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 in and in a way, you know, I got to sort of tap into that. But then, you know, in the in the sort of rise up song. Yeah. That was beautiful. Which, you know, I don't know how much I can give away, mm. but... Um, just, I mean, they'll cut it out. Just tell me anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, having having Amaya uh, have her moment yeah. where she sees it and like, her eyes up, are girl, open. Get up. <laughs> yeah, that, I think, being able to write from both sides, because I've lived through certain things and then right. I got to have my Amaya moment as oh. well in my life, you I know? And so, yeah, I, I'm very very connected to these songs. I mean, music is therapy. So it really is. So I would is. say that you probably got your little, you know, therapeutic, 100%. cathartic moment with that I too. think I, I probably just can't help it. I probably inherently put a little bit of myself into everything that I do. Well, I mean, you can always tell. That's why there's so much heart in it. And yeah. I, I re honestly appreciate that. Once the soundtrack is like officially like on my playlist, I'll be jamming on all of them all day for yes, sure. What was your favorite you. one to do? Oh, what was my favorite one? I mean, I love them all for different reasons. Um, this Wish was the first one, so I I have a special place in my heart for This Wish. Yeah. And, and I have a special place in my heart for I'm a Star because those songs to me are just so correlated. Like, without I'm a Star, she wouldn't be able to do the reprise and and wouldn't be able to get everybody to rise up. Right, right. And And I think that's that's such a full circle moment. Like there's just such beautiful messages wrapped into so each other. So many, like there's you know? so many different, even in the imagery as well. And I I, I guess that's my you know, next one. Mm. Hopefully not, not my last question, <laughs> but um, the film really touches on Star and Asha's bond. Yeah. And and it's really, really special, you know, because um, Star doesn't speak, but then yeah. Asha seems to know yeah, what Star is thinking. And, so there's, and there's something very metaphorical about that as well. You know, like, you know, your yeah. star and your dreams, like your, inner compass telling you where to go your totally. gut if you will but how would you say that you use sound design to convey the magic and wonder of that bond between asha and star uh <laughs> and the star answered well you know honestly i think i think that really comes from the composer to be mm. honest um dave metzger mm. dave really i think he really encapsulated that that bond yeah. um between them uh, and and really, I think I'm a star does that as well. Um, you know that song really tells you like, hey, we are the same. We all have. We that all have thing, that, yeah. yeah. And um, and I think that's that's the point where they're like, oh, we're on the same page. We both want the same things. Um, I also I also think star is is really significant to Asha because I think like, you know you can do so many things on your own but i think i think it really helps to have help yeah you know it really takes a village and like it can start with you but it really takes a lot of effort from a lot of different places to get you to the place that you want to be and i think i think star really does that with asha like he understands or they understand yeah. that that asha has a goal yes and they are there to Help, help her with I that know, goal. That. It was so you know? heartwarming. It was really, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Which one do you think is going to tra um, transfer across all genres? Like, can we remix into a rap or like trap soul or anything like that? Oh my goodness. I have a few ideas. I haven't even <laughs> thought about that. May can I hear your ideas? I mean, I really think that you can do it like a mashup of I'm a star and this wish. Let's go. And like make it into like a, you know, little fun, like I'd rap, love to trap hear soul it. situation. If anybody's down, Listen, Let's go. <laughs> just, just credit me as inspiration. You yeah. had it here first. <laughs> Write a word, get a third. Exactly. I'm like, listen. Count them in. <laughs> Count me in. I'm down. It's so lovely to meet you. Nice and thank to you meet for you. this gift. It's so beautiful. And you should be so thank proud you. of yourself. Thank you so much. I mean, I, I'm, I'm like obsessed. So thank you for this. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello, gentlemen. Congratulations on this amazing film. This movie is beautiful. It speaks to the magic of what you guys produced. Oh, so you should be very, very thank proud. You. Thank you. Very proud. I read somewhere that, you know, it was your wish to work on a Disney film. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is yeah. that 
<laughs> you finally found something to put your name on and this is it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's very exciting, you know, like, uh, it's, you know, as, as it happens and it's in the movie, it's a, it's a wish that I had from yeah. when I was little and I kind of forgot about it as you do in the movie and I had to reclaim it and work really hard to get here, but here we are. I love that. Congratulations. <laughs> There's nothing better than a wish fulfilled, you know? Yeah. And uh, Mr. Peter, you um, have worked on really big, big, huge, ginormous <laughs> Disney films like Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Um, how do you know when or if something's going to be a hit? Um, look, when, when we choose projects to work on, it, it's really about the team that you put together. Uh, because it, it is the team that makes the movie. We don't know exactly what the movie's going to be when we start, mm -hmm. but when you have the right teamwork all working together, in terms of when you know it's going to be a hit, it, it's when the movie starts to tell you what it needs to be. And now you're just trying to keep up with the movie and, yeah. and, and give it your best so that it can become what it is. And then, of course, when we get to see it with an audience and you feel that connection between the audience and the screen, you can feel that, that emotional connection that they have and they believe the world exists, they believe these characters exist. They bind, yeah. uh, and they start singing all the songs, then you know you've got something. Listen, I was talking to Julia just a few minutes ago, and the music is honestly the heart of the film, and it just speaks so much to the underlying theme mm -hmm. of, you know, hope and, and all of that. And, you know, uh, Asha is a very relatable um, heroine. What qualities did you want her character to embody, and how did you, um, how are you instrumental in bringing those to life with Ariana and, and, and the directors? Sure. Well, I, I think you're hitting on it because we've always wanted her to be relatable because in a way she represents all of us as Disney fans or people of the world with, you know, having a passion or a wish in your heart. Uh, and then I love having Oriana being a part of it because she brought so many, so like, she talks about Asha in colors, which I love, mm. and, and using the songs, you know, yeah. because in each song, you see a different part of her personality. You know, Scrooge. she was the This Wish song, but she has a fight song, and and uh, she is a very complex character. You know, she's a she's a dreamer, but she's someone that when she sees that something is wrong, she's gonna take action and do something and about it. Very like cut, like exactly. Active. I and love then she that. has the courage to continue. So I think that's what I love about Asha and Ariana. Yes, I mean, I, it definitely comes through in in the story and in the characters. And I love how there's so many different nods to all the past. Disney characters, um, like the seven dwarves are like her seven <laughs> friends, yeah. and that even the watercolor um, decision is from Sleeping Beauty, which is one of your favorites, right? Well, yeah, I and mean, the watercolor look was inspired by Pinocchio and Snow White. Oh, Snow White, okay. Because this is uh, a fairy tale. Yes. So it felt logical for us to look at our first fairy tales uh, and bring that storybook flavor to the movie. What it does have from Sleeping Beauty, it's the cinemascope aspect ratio, okay. which is perfect to watch in theaters, and we haven't done it since Sleeping Beauty. Okay. So the film's message of fighting for a better future is so timely. Um, how do you hope audience will be inspired by the story, especially in this climate? You know, this year has been rough for a lot of people, <laughs> especially creatives. Yeah, as, as an actor myself, like, it's yeah. something that, you know, you have to keep the dream alive. What, what elements did you make sure were in there to keep that message alive? We, we wanted this to evoke everything that makes Disney animated movies so great, and that is to bring hope yeah. and joy to the world. What we what we want is, you know, this holiday season that, that people bring their friends, bring their family, but also join the community. Put the outside world behind you for two hours and just get engrossed in the movie and, and get, get inspired and get that feeling of hope and, and joy again. I can say you definitely did that for sure. Thank you. For sure. I mean, there's something in it for everyone. I love the metaphors of, you know, I don't want to spoil too much for the people, but like just even like, you know, giving your um, dreams away when you're an adult. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, like that metaphor was like so poignant as well. And then right. fighting to get it back. And just even realizing that a lot of the time, mm -hmm. it's synergy that brings dreams to life. Mm -hmm. And I really love that. So I'm, I'm really inspired by that. Oh, and um, I want to say thank you for this gift and well done. And can you give us any inside scoops to anything coming up next from, from you guys? <laughs> you know, we're, we've been working on this movie for so long and mm -hmm. we're at the point where we finally get to hand it over yeah. and the audience gets to make it their own. Right. And we just want to watch that process and then Agreed. maybe take a vacation before we think about you what's next. You know what, next. that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I think you've definitely earned it. Okay. And I know that it's going to do marvelous things. Okay. People are already buzzing about it already. Uh -huh. Like everyone that's, that's, that saw it yesterday is just like, oh my goodness, I'm so inspired. 
inspired, I'm so this, I'm so that. So you should be very proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. And I'm happy that your wish came true finally. <laughs> thank it's you. an amazing thing. It's great having you here. I no. love your energy. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And I hope you enjoy London while you're here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right. Thank you. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Congratulations on this amazing film. Thank you. Um, I saw it yesterday and I keep saying it like everyone beside me at the end was like bawling. And I, I, th I thought I was like, I, I was like, well, yeah, no, I'm so cool. I'm hardcore. On the train back home, I was like in tears. I, I, I didn't know when it was happening. I was like, oh my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> so it was so beautifully done and Thank it's you. such an amazing film. And I think so many billions, hopefully, love it and um, and uh, you should be very proud. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, the bond between Asha and Star is at the heart of this tale. Um, can you tell us about the process of bringing their unique friendship from script to screen? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was always... So yeah. Star coming down, we did not want Star... Star has magical abilities, mm -hmm. but we didn't want Star to grant Asha's wish. Yeah. We wanted to make sure that there was a limit to Star's magic. And that way, Asha would have the agency and the drive to do that. Star is there to help Asha. Star is there to uh, push Asha. Yeah. Star is there <laughs> yeah. to be a little push, bit... To push of, everyone. To be, <laughs> <laughs> be a little chaotic. Yeah. Um, yeah. This ball of energy. Uh, but Star, yeah. you know, I think the great relationship for Star and Asha is that I think Star would do anything for Asha. Yeah, I, I mean, she, you can tell. There's a, there's a real friendship there, too, which I think yeah, is great. Yeah, if Asha represents hope and Star represents an imagination, mm. you want to have both, right, to like really dream even further than you can imagine in, initially. I mean, Fawn, you're, first of all, you're brilliant at what you do. Um, what was it like coming up with the design concepts for each character's looks and faces, and um, how are some of the more intangible elements like you know, likening some of um, Asha's friends to the seven dwarves. How did you, you got that, it? How did that? You know, <laughs> how did that come across in how you depicted them visually? Yeah, and we're, the the drive of all of this is the heart of story, right? Mm -hmm. Of who the each of the character is inspired yeah. to look, and we collaborated with with our production designer team that does the research of the region that the film is based on, that leads to the the heritage of Asha. Um, being from North African descent and Southern European descent, you know, and we were like dreaming that, oh, okay, if her mom is from North Africa, yeah. then she probably braid Asha's hair. Right. And we worked with the, our hair consultant to create that look. That, that was very well done. <laughs> Thank you. I was you. like, <laughs> this is cute. That bring authenticity and, and speaking to her character. And we know we want to have a powerful, charming king, mm. Magnifico, right? He has to look <laughs> a certain way for the audience to believe that people of Rosa is really look up to this king when he turns really evil that right. the audience kind of feeling like but 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 but, but we look up to you. <laughs> um I, I i have a question about stars at parents because i mean star is shaped like a star yes but then i there's a heart yes in yeah. the middle, I, I called uh, so i wasn't imagining that right there's a, a heart, heart in the middle of the heart-shaped mask around star's eyes and mouth was uh really brought up by our character designer who looked at mickey mouse and so Mickey has this heart shape for the brows, if you really look at Mickey. And now I'm like trying to like, <laughs> yeah. my entire life have, just been like. <laughs> and, and doesn't he, have eyebrows. He actually. took, you know, uh, early Mickey and just, you know, frame, sort of frame, one frame with that and then star, could have back to back and just did all the emotions. So you get this wonderful emotions with star with those brows, without right. eyebrows. Right. The brows of the mask itself. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I like the concept of infusing like literal heart into into it and magic together. And there that's, is that yeah. too, of course. I mean, <laughs> okay, see, throw that one for you over there. Um, I know we're not supposed to tell, but um, what is one wish that you had that has come true? And this oh. is for both of you. Well, when you say you're not supposed to tell. I know, but I'm so nosy and I think everybody wants to know. Yeah, but, but this film really talk about the aspect that, you know, we all grow up with, like, when you have a wish, don't tell anybody, don't mm -hmm. chase it, right? But this film, we have the character yeah. of Asha, who's so passionate about her wish, and she has no choice but to say it out loud right. into the universe. Yeah. And she got great help from Star, from her friends. Yeah. So this film really want to encourage, can encourage people to share their to dreams share their wishes. with others. I think there's a power within that yes. that, that you will find. Based on some of your wishes, world. though, so what was your wish? My wish was to work at Disney Animation. 
And when I said that to people, at first they laughed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, this is good. And they were like, like, good I, I, luck. Yeah. <laughs> right? But, um, but there were others who listened to, like my group of friends and my parents. I, I wrote an email to someone who worked at Disney. Like, this is what I wanted to do. I love that. You know, you have any advice? And I did get an, a great advice. Oh. And that set me on my path. Chris, what about you? Oh, gosh. It's sort of the same. I mean, yeah. I started, uh, I watched Pinocchio when I was four or five years old inspired it was a re-release it was not the original no there was no one okay just okay, want to make very sure I know, I know I'm, a I'm, I'm a little bit older but <laughs> not that old um and so i fell in love with animation that day and i don't know if i consciously made a wish or probably subconsciously made a wish to be able to to work at a place and i don't even know if i knew the, the name disney necessarily but i knew the movie just inspired me so much and um, the characters, the music, everything. I think I just wanted to be part of that. Which um, part of that world? Part of that world. <laughs> no, um, you know, I, I was chatting with Julia earlier, and the music is such an integral part of the entire production. Um, how did you know? And I know that she worked with you closely on how to insert, you know, these pieces in. But how did you know what fit the vibe, and what things did you subtract to make sure that it was cohesive? Well, the one thing, because we're celebrating the 100th uh, and again, celebrating our legacy, but celebrating today's world, uh, we wanted to have songs that did both. And Julia loves Disney, loves, <coughs> it's in her DNA and can bring that, that great classic sound uh, that brings a sort of a nostalgic feel to yeah. the music, but she brings her contemporary sound too, which is so strong. And so we love that in, in all the songs. And working with her, you know, we would spot songs throughout the whole movie. Um, you know, you always, you, you, you want your, like, ballad and your fun song. Your, fun, and your fight song. Fight your, song, yeah. your villain song, mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. We kind of knew the types of songs that we wanted, but, and then we had to spot them. But you really have to, you really have to ramp into them. Hopefully yeah. that it feels seamless that the audience doesn't feel a song coming on until sort of they're in it it was pre it was pretty organic i, I don't think yeah. i was like oh here's another one it was like it flowed really nicely so i, I would say that that was pretty well done um <laughs> what was your favorite song fun <laughs> it's so hard to pick yeah, really? because like, we all have your favorite child with these songs, <laughs> right and all the songs kind of tie together um i do love this wish Yes. I've, we, that was the first song that Julia wrote. Yeah, she, she said right. so, yeah. That's yeah, and yeah. even Before though... Before even like sitting yeah. from a paragraph, she said. And, yes. and, and yes. really, put the stake on the ground for character of Asha. You mm. feel the vulnerability of this person. You feel the passion. And it's just a beautiful song. And even though we heard it, what, thousand million <laughs> times, I still hum it to myself. It, it does have like that epic, you know, like, you know, sound that yeah. kind of builds up and takes you on a journey as well. I really mm -hmm. love that. Chris, what about you? Um, <laughs> you can't pick. <laughs> no, I, well, uh, there are times that I have uh, three sons. They're older now, but I can remember uh, being that um, unappreciated parent, and I would say this is the thanks I get. <laughs> okay, that is, speak. did not see that coming. Not <laughs> <laughs> magnifico. If you, okay. if you listen to it if closely, listen to it. I can see there's some elements that People, are kind of like, yeah. I could see moms and dads doing videos of that, <laughs> cleaning up around the house, and <laughs> whatever it is. Clean up all your messes. I can messes. see that. Clean up I can Always see that. there when you need to vent. That's right. I, mean, I guess my final question before I have to go, um, I could sit around and talk to you guys all day, by the way, but um, <laughs> is um, what is it like directing an animation? Like, what, how do you do, because mm -hmm. people, when they're thinking, I'm an actor as well, so like, if, if I'm thinking direction, it's like, okay, move here, move there, but how do you do that when the characters are, <laughs> you're, you're doing voice acting, they're essentially. Really, yeah. yeah. How, do you, how, do you, how do you navigate that? You have to, well, you work with every single department, you know, starting with writers and the story and then the songwriters, but then all the character designers and the animators and the layout and the effects people. Uh, there's so many people you work with, and our job really is to keep the big picture in mind. Yeah. We have so many talented people that you know we, we trust. There's a lot of trust. And what I've worked with a lot of these people, Fawn has, yeah. in the past, so we have a, a nice shorthand. And so it is, for me, it really boils down to trust. So they trust us with the story that we're gonna give them, mm -hmm. but we trust them with everything yeah. else that they're doing. And there are a group of people walking around at work, you know, 
and I'm like, oh, that's a Magnifico team. So <laughs> they're animating Magnifico and walking around. They're walking around. Yeah. <laughs> Getting yeah. into the character. With the like, vibe. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much. And thank everyone's going to love this film. Honestly, I'm not just saying that. It's so beautiful and so well done. She's so proud. It's going to be. It's already a hit, I'm sure. Thank and it will you. be a big one for you too. So congratulations. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much.